Now to your health. Healthy muscle mass keeps you sharp and strong into old age. One of the best ways to maintain muscle for decades is to eat a good protein. Yeah, good protein. Some people may avoid yeah. high protein diets because of all the myths surrounding this essential part of our diet. Haley's back to bust some of the myths. Yeah, that's right. So I'm not talking about going totally keto either, just hitting that sweet spot of getting the right grams of protein. I spoke to a couple experts about the importance of adding more to your diet and the myths that people commonly believe. For years, it was believed too much protein is a bad thing, thinking it was for bulking up, weight gain, or adding calories. Not so, says New York Times bestselling author and Houston mom, Dr. Gabrielle Lyon. That's the number one myth, I would say, that we're getting enough. And what people fail to recognize is that the current recommendation is the minimum to prevent deficiencies. The current recommendation is only about half as much as Dr. Lyon recommends. She says most people need about 90 grams of protein or more every day. Consuming protein shakes and bars is an easy way to get enough at each meal. So for example, if someone is vegan or vegetarian and they don't want to eat animal products, protein shake is really an effective way to get it. They have rice pea blends. And for individuals, you're a busy mom a whey protein shake would be fantastic for you. And with people on diets or weight loss drugs, protein takes center stage because doctors warn some patients are losing too much muscle mass as they're dropping pounds. And dieting should always be paired with ways to maintain muscle. You talk to the dietitian, you add resistance training, um, weight bearing training, muscle training, light free weights to maintain your muscle mass. Losing muscle, it also reduces your metabolism. So to keep up with your metabolism as you lose weight, keeping up with your muscle mass is very important. Dr. Lyon says resistance training is actually more important than any other form of exercise. If you care about body composition, if you care about strength, because remember, we're training to be better at life. We're not exercising to become better at exercising. Now she says to focus on weights like kettlebells, lifting those above your head, pressing and walking. That's going to translate into real life movements that you need to be strong enough to carry things and lift things as you head into old age. Yeah, exercising yes. to live. Like, yeah, right, to makes have a sense, good, right? You know, strong, long life. Right. Yeah, to get up and sit down on your own. Yeah, it's all mm -hmm. important. Yeah, realistic stuff. Right, yeah. right. All right, Haley, Thanks, thank Haley. you.